Hey guys, this video is filmed in collaboration with a watch brand called Large Vivalus. It's a Swedish brand and you guys know I love my watches, especially when they're gold. So a couple of weeks ago I attended a wedding in the south of France and I want to show you guys the exact makeup look I wore on the wedding day as well as my outfit and accessories. So because it was in the south, the sun was still pretty intense there. I used SPF 50 on my face and then I went on and applied a Clinique anti-blemish solution foundation with a beauty blender all over my face and I did a second layer of the foundation for a little bit more coverage just because I knew we would have loads of pictures taken. Then for concealer, I actually didn't use this one. I used my NARS uh, Creamy Radiant Concealer, but I forgot to, you know, to bring it with me to my studio. So I used this Lancome one instead, which I love as well. It's amazing. Then to give um, my face a little bit of color and that sun kissed effect, I used my Cream to Powder Bronzer from Yves Saint Laurent. I absolutely love it. I know it looks a bit orange on camera. I don't know why it's not orange in real life at all. And it just gives a little bit of definition and color to my face. And again, I use my beauty blender to apply it with just because it looks the most natural this way. And I applied it where the sun would naturally hit my face. Then I went on and applied my Lancome Cushion Highlighter from their collaboration with Olympia Latin. I absolutely adore this product i cannot even tell you it's incredibly beautiful i'm so sad it's limited edition so go and grab it while you can because it's just heavenly looks so natural but yet gives you the most beautiful glow then for my eyebrows i groomed them with my dior eyebrow styler and filled them in by the way i actually did my makeup on the train from paris to bezier but i didn't film it you know there and then so I had to film the makeup part back home in my studio. Then I set my brows with my Givenchy brow groomer. And then for my eyeshadow, I just actually, this whole makeup is my everyday makeup. This is exactly what I wear on an everyday basis. So this is my Charlotte Tilbury palette. I went with a rose gold kind of peachy champagne color all over my eyes. I use a highlighter for the inner corner and then a bronzer mixed with a shadow just for my crease for definition to create that almond shape to my eyes. And then the only thing uh, different that I don't do on a daily basis to intensify my eyeshadow, I use this Rosie for Autograph, this kind of amethyst colored um, eyeshadow stick. And it just gave a little bit more depth to my eyes and brought out my green um, eye color. Then to brighten up my eyes, I used my Dior White Eye Coal just on my waterline and then curl my lashes and use my favorite lash combo in the whole entire world, Dior Lash Primer and Armani Ecstasy Mascara. Then for my lips, I used Chanel Lip Liner in Beige Innocent. Uh, I don't like it on its own because it's quite tacky, but it's perfect for under lipsticks. It just makes your lipstick stay all day. Um, and then I applied my all-time favorite lipstick, which is Maybelline Choco Cream. Then I just powdered my face using my Chanel Le Beige powder. And that's it. That was my makeup look for the day. Uh, I actually wore my hair exactly like this, just... Uh, behind my ears and pulled back. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the watch. So it's a unisex watch and it's called Stockholm 2.0 Mesh. The face of it comes in this kind of off-white color. They call it eggshell white. The strap is 20 millimeters and it has Japanese quartz movement. It's made of stainless steel and it's actually water resistant so you should not be afraid of the rain or humidity and the only downside is that I find the closure a bit flimsy and hard to do and undo but besides that I really like it it's very shiny and sparkly and now let's move on to the rest of my look so I actually had my hair done a day before the wedding so I didn't really need to do much to it I simply used my GHD creative curl hair curler which is my absolute favorite and I curled my hair just slightly to give those soft 
um, you know, kind of natural looking waves to my hair. Not really curls or anything, just soft waves. And I use my tangle teaser to brush through my hair. So here I am curling away. This is me right there in the south of France. Um, just like, I don't know, 15 minutes before we actually had to leave. So I was in a bit of a rush. And then I applied Gizu hair oil. I love it because it adds so much shine to your hair and it actually tames all the flyaways as well. It just makes your hair look very sleek and polished. So then I applied these beautiful earrings. These ones are from Zara, actually current season and they match the color of my dress so perfectly. I couldn't believe it. And then I used Tanya Burr's Body Illuminator, which is this gold shimmery cream. And I just applied it on my arms, on my decollete, collarbone, just to give um, my skin this beautiful golden shine. And because we were in the sunshine for the most part of the day, my skin was simply glowing. And here I am putting on my watch, just taking it out of the box. It was uh, the first time I actually wore it out. And then I applied a generous amount of my Chanel Beige perfume. So I love it. And then my high heels were Miu Miu. They are satin heels with uh, Swarovski crystals on the heel. So beautiful, I love them. The bag is from Zara and this Grecian inspired dress is from ASOS. I love it, it's just so romantic and feminine. Et voilà, that was my look. Check out the info bar for 20% off coupon code for the watch and like the video if you did. Thanks for watching guys, bye!